All right, everyone, welcome back to Game Devs Play Games, where we play games and talk game design. And today we are here with A Day in the Woods by Retro Epic Software. Mm -hmm. And um, it's a pretty cool puzzle game from what Chris tells me. I was going to say, you don't know that. You I don't know. This. I, well, you're like, you told me to introduce, and I don't know what else to say, <laughs> except it looks cool. So they were gracious enough to send us a copy of this game. So thank you, guys. You guys uh, are awesome. And it's it's actually pretty fun. It's... um. It's a puzzle game. Uh, I forget what the type of puzzle it's called, where like you've got that grid and you have to shift around pieces. Oh, good! It's one of those puzzles. <laughs> well, not quite. Go, go ahead and jump in. All right, let's jump um, in. But it, it utilizes those mechanics. Where's level one at? Uh, where, where is this oh, level that's one? right. I don't think this is. No, this is definitely not level one. This is level go twenty. Go to that little menu icon. Not that one. Hit that back. Maybe, maybe hit that rewind. Maybe hit that one. There's definitely a way to go back. Here, go ahead and hit that menu. And then... Maybe go, yeah, go there, itself. and then go... Okay, there you go. We tried resetting the data, and it just didn't work, so... That's, Look on the tile, there's five places. Oh. oh, I see. So we're just getting the little fairy to Granny's house. Exactly. Now, the important takeaway is that you're also moving cells to do that. So... You're the you're the fairy. You're not Red Riding Hood. Not go... So Red Riding Hood is there. Oh, so I have to get Red Riding Hood there. Exactly. I see. So just like that. Mm -hmm. Have you forgotten, dear? Your granny has moved deeper into the woods. Ah, <laughs> oh, shucks. What? I got five. What? It was part five. You moved seven times. So that's how they they rate your score. And this is how many times you move. Um, you'll see later. There's another mechanic that influences. Keep it too. moving ahead and switching places. With Red Riding Hood to guide her. All the way to Granny's Cottage. So we have Red Riding Hood on the and very where, right. And where is the par? Is that the 13? Yes. Okay, what's up with these? Anything? None. They're just blank tiles. Okay. So obviously you can't move things like trees or rocks because those are big stationary objects. Oh, I messed up. No, you're fine. Oh, no, wait. So it doesn't matter. So you can only move two tiles adjacent to you. Oh, no. Well, so, yeah, move there. Oh, it's going to take forever, though. <laughs> that's that's why it's part 13 and not part 5. So if I go there, I go there, I go there. Oh, shit. Yeah, go down. Oh, no, that's going to work. Go no, down. It's going to work. I got it. Yeah, I got, there you I go. It. You're getting it. No, I, it's just, uh, I'm not going to do it in 13. One, two, three. Yeah, because you did one extra move. <laughs> It's okay, buddy. We're just showing the game. If we want, I know. If we want to do a full playthrough. These guys can vote for that. I'm gonna do them 15. Actually, I had two extra oh, moves. Oh, that's true. Huh? Granny, I don't have any kids. You must be lost. <laughs> I kind of like that little extra flavor. Yeah, right. <laughs> so, I mean, this this is the core concept of the game right like right. this is the basic mechanic mm. um which that in itself i think is pretty interesting i feel like i don't see a lot of puzzle games that use something like this and they totally could they just don't um but obviously things start getting a little bit more complex as we get deeper mm. i want to do this part, in 18. part 18 uh, i think you're yeah you've got the right idea going that way i don't know but going this way but then I have to it's, no matter what you're pretty much going you have to go full circle no matter what, so it doesn't really matter yeah, which direction you go. Fair. Then you and I will switch. You can't move with the rock. No, I can't move the rock. I have to go back around. Mm -hmm. Which Jeez. isn't so bad. Oh. I know, but that means I have to keep going back around. You, you, you have this. I know I do, but I want to do it in the amount that's needed. Yeah, you have it. Oh, I have it. Oh, shoot. Oh, man. That's what I was trying to tell you. This is the thing. I, I feel like it's really easy to overcomplicate this game. Yeah, right? That's cool. Like, mentally. Like, the game itself is not well, very super complicated. Like, right, well, because... 18, you right, had 15. 15. Not bad. Not bad at all. I don't know why I couldn't do it on the easier levels, though. Because you were figuring it out. Well, to be fair, that level right there, uh, that actually might have been better for a level two because it kind of streamlines your, your path. You really can only go one direction, and it's kind of hard to go against the par this other way. than like backtracking yeah. that way whoa so this is the new mechanic i i don't 
Here, if you click click on that sign. Uh, yeah. Huh? I'll blow around and hide, collect all the flowers before I get. Oh, so you have to do this. Uh. Yes. Oh, uh, well, that was the one flower. So we're, oh, no, there's one more flower here. Later, there are berries. So you have to collect the flowers to progress. But then the berries also affect your score. So you don't need the berries. But uh, now you can't move there anyway, huh? No, you can. Oh, okay, so... It, it, it would show red if you can't move there. Okay, so if she needs to also get the flower. Yeah, so move there. Do that. Mm -hmm. We'll flip you two around. Oh, she just literally has to be adjacent to it. Yep. To take it back. Okay, cool. Um, Go there. We'll go there. And if, if you noticed in the... When yeah, we were we trying to jump... 11. When we accidentally jumped to, like, level 30 or whatever we started at, uh, they start using that adjacent... Thing with other mechanics That's that are challenging cool. uh, so those were bears you can't move red riding hood adjacent to a bear because it would eat her, eat her. now will it even let you attempt to do it would you lose automatically okay uh, it blocks it which i don't know how i feel about that i almost would rather it just like give you like a game over of some kind yeah. okay let's see if this tells me anything gathering bears for granny will earn you more stars yes so now it's not just about meeting the par. Now it's also about collecting now, berries. Do we need to collect the flower too if it doesn't say? Like when we see flowers, do you have to collect those? If you look in the lower left, that's showing you what like you need. what you need. So you need so you flowers need and, flower. you need, and you need berries. Um, but I think you only really need the flowers. So, but yeah. that's how you know how many things there are to collect if you can't see on screen already. Oh, that's going to have to go all the Which, way around. Yeah. Darn. <laughs> Shicks. I really like the art style though. And they, they built this for mobile too. So this is on Steam, iOS, oh, and no Android. Um and so the interface makes a lot of sense for mobile, right? Like you just tap which hexagon you want yeah, to go right, to. Exactly. Um the only downside maybe is if you're playing on a small screen, it might be a little hard to like yeah. hit the right one. Um But so I I like the stylization of the game though. I think the um the graphics had a very kind of adorable, like, storybook quality to them. Yeah, yeah. It's like, it has a very wooden quality to it, but it feels very storybook at the same time. Right. You can complete a level without collecting any berries, but you won't get all your stars. Bam. Now, are there berries here? Yes, there are berries there. Flower there. But you have to get the flower. Mm hmm So, hmm. So, let's, let's get the flower right now. So imagine and then we'll flip back. Oh, actually, yeah, that kind of makes sense. So imagine this game, though. Imagine you were controlling Red Riding Hood directly. Like instead of being a fairy, you were Red Riding Hood. Oh, this isn't gonna work. I'm not the, gonna do it in the required, but that's okay. Oh no. Uh, no. You might. <laughs> no. No, you won't. No, I won't. But that's okay. You're one short. Oh, wait, no, you got, you got it. Oh, oh, because you just had to be adjacent to the house. That's right. Yes. I keep forgetting that you don't have to be in front of the house. I keep thinking it to be, like, in the front. Yeah, no, I, I'm totally on your side there. It, it is kind of... No, it's par for the course. I'll take that. This is, this is a cool little game. <laughs> um, I like... And I, it's interesting... Oh, what is one thumb now? Huh? If you make a mistake, use the undo or reset button to start again. Oh. No, so oh, that's, that's what this button is. Mm -hmm. Oh, when we were messing with that earlier, we were just undoing. Yeah, so that's the undo, and the one on the right, I think, is the reset. The reset. Okay, so now I have to collect all the flowers. Yes, though it's a pretty straight path, so. Yeah. No question. I yeah. think you just have to loop around, honestly. Yeah, I mean, that, it's, yeah. Unless you want to get those berries. Oh, no, you can still get those berries at the top. Oh, this is, you, you got this. Yeah, I mean, I can just go around here. Yeah, you want to go. You want to go counterclockwise. Counterclockwise. Yeah, exactly. So you want to. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I want to start counterclockwise. Let's. So, how do you feel I'm though? Take forever. Yeah. Do you do you feel like the game should kind of have this pathfinding system, where like you could select a hex all the way out, and it would just generate a path for you? Or do you do you feel it it's better just going piece by piece? You know, I kind of like going piece by piece because it gives that puzzle. If you go there, quality. I know we need to go here. Yeah. Yeah, we need to go here. Flip it around. We need to go. Oh no! Yeah, no, no, wait, go, wait. go up. Yeah, go up. And then go to the the left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and then we can and then go flip down. Here. Yeah, no, we're good. We're good. We're good. Yeah. We're good. 
At first, I thought that was going to be considered touching, but it's not. It's nice that they let you collect the berry. Yes, and, and get the home. Yep. And I, I think that's where they trick you up, too, because you look at it and you're like, how do I uh, solve like, this? Oh, wait, how can I get that? That's good. That's clever. Mm -hmm. The long way round. All right. But yeah, cool I, I, I don't game. know how I feel about... Oh, we have bears now. Uh, okay, so in this way, keep Little Red Riding Hood out at least one tower from those scary grizzly bears. So right to the bears. We're going to give her a bear. <laughs> I mean, you if you go okay. to... So, no, I, know, I know what to do. I mean, you have one place you can go. Uh, I can literally just go here. But I if you try to move here. her into the bear... It's not going to let you. It, it'll say, nope. So now you have to move the bear out of the way. Oh, you can move the bear. Yes. Oh, oh yeah. I made a mistake there. Whoops. That's you could right. undo. That's good. That's good. I can't move that though. Oh. Go, go, move up. Yeah, and I gotta move the bear. Yeah. Right there. And then we can go here, and then we can flip you here, little girly girl. Then go around the town. Go there. Flip you there. Easy peasy. And we have uh, one flower and one berry to collect here. Yeah. I'll flip. Yeah, you might actually hit par on this. Might. It'll it's, be tight. It's tight. No, but... no, just go straight down. Oh, yeah. Da, 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 da. And then I can go, wacha, wacha, do that. Don't worry, I'll be good. We got this. Uh, go maybe. go up. Yeah, up. Up. Uh, around. Uh, uh, dang. Uh. So the important thing to, about the stars, too, um, well, I, I guess it's not really important, mm -hmm. but they do have a mechanical value. It's not just, like, stars. Which, I guess, we're we're about yeah. at the end of the episode, so we can show it off, too. Mm -hmm. um, so go back to the menu. Menu! And then, I think it's that paintbrush. So you can use the stars to unlock, uh, to unlock. different aesthetics. Uh. So if you go to, like, Seasons... I think we're on season, so right. we can change it from spring to summer, and it like changes the the art palette. We can change. Know, you know like, how it changes the flare, but I'm still not sure. Rainbow go and here, nah. hit. So that's. I have no idea. Maybe if I change the sum back to uh, summer. Maybe then let's go ahead and take a look at the trail. Oh Here's... yeah, because normally the fairy just leaves streaks. I changed it to leaves. Oh, I see. That's what they're talking about. The flare mm -hmm. must be for. Maybe like it's the actual color of. Oh, the... I see. Yeah, the fairies glow. Yeah. So I mean, it's it's it, it's super, all superficial. Super, yeah, but it's a nice little touch. It, it gives at least a reason to want to go back and get more stars if you want to make it more. It it kind of justifies yeah that that effort, which you know, I think it works for the people that enjoy the aesthetic change, and then for those that are just achievement hunters, they don't need it. But. Yeah, yeah, they, they can just go through the game however they want. Yeah, um, but it I, would, I would like them to maybe not have like just the par, but also like you know how in some games you have to succeed by a certain amount of stars to continue the next level. Ah, I so, be a so bad like idea if to... you get only one star rating, right? You don't, you can't beat the game. I I actually don't think I agree with you on that for one specific reason, okay. and that's because this is not a skill based game. This is an intellectual game. That's fair. So, I I think no matter what. Um, if well, it, 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 I think it depends on the target audience. If it is for true. kids, then I agree. I say you shouldn't. But then there's like some games where like the idea is you have to complete this in so many moves, and if you can't complete in so many moves, mm. that's that. I mean, I think the target demographic. I and mean, with this, is... I think I feel like it is kids, right? I feel like this is kids, so you don't want to punish them for not figuring it out like that. Yeah, and and I mean that play style. I think translates to other levels too. I don't think yeah. it necessarily works in all, um, but I think locking it based on s locking levels based on stars forces a specific playstyle. It doesn't allow for multiple types. That's fair, um, that's and fair. that's that's really the core reason why I say it's not that detrimental. Because yeah. if it were a skill based game, then you have to have a certain skill level yeah, before you can really, otherwise you're just going to die immediately. Yeah, that's fair. Um, fair. But since you can't really die in this, it's just about shuffling things around to right. figure it out. Okay, cool. So, uh, question of the day. Question of the day, I'd say... Uh, Maybe she asked them what we're asking. You know, do you think this game should require skill? Or... No, I, I don't think that's the question. I think this game's design is... It knows exactly what it needs. Okay. Um, I think a better question actually might be that interface thing that I was asking mm. earlier to you is... 
do you think this game would benefit from a pathfinding system of like, you know, you select one tile that's like three tiles out and it'll just draw a line, a line yeah. or is it better to do the point by point system? And what are, what are the benefits of either method, really? I, I think both work. It's just a matter of intuitive uh, preference or, you know, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Well, if you guys enjoyed the video, please hit a like. If you haven't subscribed yet, do that too. And uh, make sure to vote for the next game you want to see us play because we love playing games you want us to play. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you in the next playthrough. Bye.